Welcome to the Legally Blind Geek YouTube channel. My name is Mike, and on this channel we strive to uh, reinforce the concept that uh, overcoming low vision challenges is easier than one might think. And in the following video we are going to describe and go into detail as far as some settings go how I record YouTube videos. So stay tuned. For those of you that don't know, I am legally blind. And in order to make a video, I am not going to use a uh, DSLR. I'm not going to use my iPhone. I'm not going to use my iPad for this video. I'm rather I'm going to use my uh, my iMac. Now, what I have is a late 2015 27 inch 5K Retina display iMac. I haven't added any other memory to it. Haven't added anything to it other than uh, well. You see, I'm wearing a set of headset. I don't even know which ones they are or how expensive they were. They weren't much. I got them off of Amazon, found a good deal, high customer rating. I clicked on it, and so far they've worked very well. In addition to that, I have the uh, Blue Yeti microphone. It's a USB mic that's basically plug and go. So there's no special software you have to load or any of that kind of stuff. You basically just plug it in and go through some... Uh, some settings through the preference and settings portion of the software. I'll get into that a little bit later when I show you how the screenshot stuff works and uh, show you how I set that up. Uh, so um, the goal is by the time we're finished with this, you're going to discover that making a YouTube video is so easy that even a blind guy can do it. Hey, before we get started, with uh, the settings and the applications that I use to make my YouTube videos. I want to go ahead and take a second to remind you, please use the comment section down below to ask any questions, make any comments about the material that we cover, or share insights. That would be outstanding. We, I think we can all learn from one another. Uh, in addition to that, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and make sure you uh, tick the little bell icon so that you get uh, notified as soon as we release another video. To better illustrate the meat and potatoes portion of how I make YouTube videos, we're going to go to the uh, screen recording bit of the software that's included with the Mojave operating system on my Mac and uh, show you some settings and kind of describe and give you a little bit more detail as to how I make YouTube videos on my Mac. YouTube video using the external Yeti microphone. We're going to go into preferences and then we're going to go into sound and we're going to go to input and we're going to make sure that the uh, the Yeti stereo microphone is selected and it is and it says it's USB mic and we're going to go to output and we're going to select the Yeti stereo microphone so we can use it as the the pass-through so the uh, speakers that are internal to the Mac don't mess up the quality of the audio, audio with uh, some background noise some echoing and that kind of stuff and uh, while we're at it we can make sure that the balance is set in the headset and for the input we'll go back to that real quick and you know set the input volume and set the uh, input level just that via the gain control knob on the back of the, the Yeti microphone and the output volume we got that turned up pretty much to uh, oh, 90 some odd percent and that way we can control the, the sound volume from the volume control on the Yeti microphone so having got all that done we'll close that out and then to record the video we go to photo booth click on photo booth open it up it opens this window and from here you'll have to forgive the lighting right now I'm just using some natural light I don't have any of the bright lights on like the lamp or anything this red button is where you uh, the shutter button if you will if you notice it's got like a little character a little diagram of um, a fair representation of a like a point-and-shoot camera you click on it with that and you just get a one picture you know one pic photograph a pic as it were this little button right here click it it changes to a video camera so then when you click it you'll get a countdown three two one the video will start recording 
and now it's recording to the photo booth so you can record your video and then stop it and then you'll get the thumbnail over here you can either click it play it so you can select it and play you can select it and you can export or delete we'll just delete it and basically that is all there is to recording a video on the iMac a quick illustration as to how to record a video on the Photoshop app and then export it in order to use it on iMovie. We're going to go ahead and select the video camera. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a quick video saying, okay, real quick, this is the quick and easy version of um, doing a uh, video using photo booth and then exporting it to movies so the end goal in mind would be to uh, import this file into uh, iMovie to edit it for our YouTube video so let's go ahead and end that we'll go down here and it's showing us a couple of different thumbnails here so let's open this one up so we're going to export that and this window appears when we go to export it now we have this save as so uh, let's just retitle that the pressure on myself when somebody's watching me I don't type all that well and tags will just do a and we'll get out of that and it's gonna go to movies so then we'll just save it now that we have that saved let's go ahead and pause this let's go ahead and exit out of this we don't need this any longer now we're going to go ahead and open up iMovie since I already have something going on there and let me zoom out here so we get a better look at what's going on here so here's some footage here's some stuff that we've already put in here now to import something what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to finder because that's where the file was kept in the folder in movies. I'll we'll go up here. I'm going to select movies. Then I'm going to go over here. And right here is the last one that we just did. So I'm just going to grab it and drag it over here into iMovie. And you see, there it is. So from here, we can select it. I can hit the space bar and it'll review it should it So there is how that portion of it works. Now we can go up here and we can scrub and we can start this, hit the space bar and it'll start playing again. And we can back that up just a little bit. And with the keystroke I, that will set an end point. Uh, end point. That's where it's gonna start at because we're gonna cut off the first part of that because it was a bit awkward. So they shortened it that much. So now I'm going to hit the space bar. I'm going to let it play again until I want to select the out point. 
so we'll cut off some of the tail end of it. So then I had to hit the out point. So this part of it is selected. You see where the box is. Now then it, if I move down here so we can scrub through the timeline here. And that was selected. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the E key. And that will put that right there at the end of it here real quick. Bang. There it is. So that's a quick and easy way how to effectively import video into the iMovie app so we can uh, put together our YouTube video. Hey, thanks for stopping by, spending time watching the video on how I make YouTube videos. As always, we really do appreciate your comments, anything you have to say, any opinions you might have, questions you might ask, please put them, you know, please put them in the comment section down below. I'll be sure and respond just as soon as I can. By the same token, you enjoyed what you saw, please, by all means, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and uh, make sure you hit the bell for future notifications on uh, upcoming videos we have planned for you. Great day, enjoy, be safe.